Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you the realities of running your own apothecary by yourself. Uh, growing everything, drying everything, storing everything, labeling everything, jarring every. I mean it's a lot. It's a lot of work. But it's work that I wholeheartedly, with all of my soul, enjoy. I enjoy every step of the process. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm busy doing today. So today is October 30th. Um, I'm clearing all of my herb drying racks. So there's this one here that I'm starting with. I've got this one to clear. And then I've also, let me show you the one in the living room. The one in the living room is a lot more, uh, let me open, let me get some light. It's a lot more, um, I think it's a lot of flowers up here. So it's a lot bigger and the way I make these is really simple. I go to thrift stores and I just find big huge old picture frames. I take out the pictures and the backing and I paint the frames. I put these eye hooks in the corners and I string them up. This is an old sheer curtain and I found I've actually used a few different types of things and an old sheer curtain is the best um, material you can use for this purpose because as you can see in the dining room one this um, this rack was made from a screen from an old window okay and do you see how over time I've had this rack for a good three years and over time the weight of the herbs and everything just uh, pulls it down which then creates these big huge holes in it. And so when you do that, like a bunch of um, stuff falls out and I don't like that. This one was made actually from some mesh in an old dress that I had. Uh, and I just, well, what I do is I, when you pick your herbs, you don't want to just take them right inside and put them on your racks. You want to fill up your sink with cold water um, fill it up about halfway and dip the herbs in there or dip your flowers and just kind of give them a little shake to get all of the dirt and anything that's on there that you don't want because all of these herbs and flowers if you're if you have an apothecary they're used for medicinal purposes they're used for to be ingested in some way whether that be through smoke teas um, in your food so you don't want to leave like little particles of uh, like bug poop on there or just whatever. Whatever could be sitting on those plants, you want to get it off. So you just dip it, um, you know, just dip it in some cold water and then put it on a towel to dry. I usually let them dry for about a day on the towel and then I put them on my racks. And then you can see my other rack back in here, my newest rack, this one's full to the brim. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's flowers, there's herbs, there's everything you can think of in there. So I've got to clear all of these today because as you can see, the garden, let me show you the garden. Tonight is supposed to be the first night of our cold weather. Um, it's going to be in the 20s tonight, so I want to get out here and as you can see the echinacea back in there The echinacea has gotten a lot taller um, It's just blooming beautifully all the zinnias are doing really good. I've, I've yesterday. I came out and I clipped a few things um, but you can see the uh, The blue morning glories aren't those gorgeous you guys I do sell seeds if you're interested. I sell seeds for a lot of things. Uh, I don't pick seeds from my own stuff because uh, I don't want them to be crossbred um, and turn out, you know, strange. So I do collect seeds from the morning glory though because it is usually the last morning glory to bloom. And so it's the only one out here blooming. So I'm not worried about any like cross pollination. But you can see the um, the cosmos are out there doing really well. So I want to clip a bunch of those off and get them all to dry. And for that to happen, 
your girl needs room. And other good news, they are tearing down that um, ugly, unsightly trailer that was up there. So that that's a blessing. Uh, and also next summer, you guys, this hill is gonna be taken over by plants. Let me show you my seed collection. I am just so excited with all of this. So let me show you the seeds I have so far. Oh. Okay, these are all my seeds. We, we, I will do a video going through it. These are the newest ones I bought. I bought a different, a bunch of kind that I couldn't find in my local shops. Um, so yeah, got a ton of seeds to fill up my land. But today we're focusing on this. So like I said, you know, you want to make sure everything is washed and dried and and uh, labeled because the worst thing, when I first started out doing this apothecary, um, it first started as a hobby uh, and an interest. It was just something that I enjoyed to do in my free time. And it's slowly become, I've slowly found that it is actually something I am extremely good at. Um, I am just now starting school for becoming a professional gardener and landscape designer, which is so exciting. Um, I am in, I started doing that at the beginning of this month. I started going to school for that. So, you know, despite my last video and the videos of me, you know, having rough days and stuff like that, my life is progressing and I am very happy. Uh, I just couldn't be more thankful for my life right now. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to see your own blessings and your everything that you used to wish for in your past is like you have it that's how I feel and sometimes you just need to step back and recognize that your life is good and that you have things that you need and you know you're safe and happy and yeah I just want to inspire you guys to find your own passions and and find something that makes you light up with energy and joy and excitement and something that you when you learn about it you don't feel like you're in school but you feel like you're just consuming knowledge to further your own hobby that's how I feel right now so I'm just here to help inspire you guys to just be better people um, go after what you want because you're your own worst enemy in life and you're your own worst cr critic and we are the only people in our lives holding us back uh, we may feel like other people are in control but that's not true it's an illusion it's an illusion to keep your own self in your comfort zone so and you know my <clears throat> I was doing I was reading my birth chart last night uh, I was up all night again and you know my birth chart I'm an Aries right or um, I am a uh, what was that an Aries rising or Aries my north node is Aries sorry I'm a cancer rising but my north node my true north node is Aries and it's in the sixth house which is the house of money and finances and everything so my mission in life is to find my greatest passion and to run after it full force while helping other people do the same uh, and so I feel like I'm finally after years of introspection and years of um, working on myself as a person and figuring out who I am and figuring out what I want from life and figuring out what makes me happy and what brings me unlimited joy and energy and uh, ideas and a flow of creativity. Uh, after years of, of searching for those things within myself and other people, uh, I finally found, I finally come to the answers I feel like. And now I just have to put all of those answers into action. Uh, because if you have a gift and you don't share it, then it's just as bad as not using it, right? So. I, I love you guys really very, very much. And you guys inspire me to be a better person every single day, whether you know it or not. Uh, and I just hope to be the same for you. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday and I hope you guys have a really awesome, fun, safe, magical Halloween. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.